Welcome to my demo. In this demonstration, we're going to work more with nodes. And let me explain to you what you're seeing here on my desktop very quickly. On the lower portion, I have Windows PowerShell. And within Windows PowerShell, I am running the administrator's terminal or the administrator's workstation. Uh, up on your right hand side, on the upper portion, I have a web browser that's pointing towards or pointing to our URL for first node. And on your upper left hand side, I have our index.html uh, embedded Ruby or RB file that is the welcome file for our specific server. So let's work with nodes a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to modify the HTML page to get some information about our node. We're going to update the cookbook and then we're going to log into our node, first node, run Chef Client and see how all of this kind of comes together. So what I did here, and so you didn't see me type all this, is when you weren't watching, what I did is I changed our index.html file to have this heading. Uh, previously, it had this heading here where it just said welcome to our Chef class. And in heading three, I put, I call myself, and then I put in some embedded Ruby, node, host name. Now, here is where our embedded Ruby starts and our embedded Ruby stops. Looks a lot like a Java expression, doesn't it? For you Java programmers out there, uh, I'd be one of them. So anyway, what we're doing here is we are going towards the node object or going to the node object and saying, give me the host name attribute. So we're working a little bit more with nodes here. So uh, save this file if you haven't done so already. And what we're going to do next is we're going to update the cookbook. So from the administrator's workstation, I'm going to type in knife cookbook space upload Apache. Knife cookbook upload Apache. What this will do is it'll take my cookbook and all of the stuff that's specified in my cookbook, upload it to Chef Server, and get it ready for any node that has this cookbook in their run list. And we just so happen to have one. First node has this cookbook in its run list. So let's log in to that node and run Chef Client. Now I'm going to have to move our HTML page over a little bit because buried in the back, very sneakily, I have some information that I can use to log into our node. And again, this is just in the interest of you not watching me type for the next seven or eight days where we can get right to the point here. So let me log in and let me get to my node. It's asking me for my password, which is a good sign. That means my node is still there. It hasn't given up on me yet. And I will happily supply the password, which it rejected. So we'll try it again. So let me grab the password and log in. And let me move my HTML page back over. So it looks like we did when we started. Whoops, not quite that good. Perfect. Okay, so I'm logged into my node. So let me do the following. Let's run chef client. sudo chef client. Now what this will do is it'll go to chef server and it will look to see if this server is configured as per our policy. And it looks like what it did here is it restored or updated one out of the four resources. And the one resource it updated, and this is your challenge question for one imaginary extra credit bonus point, this HTML file. So if I refresh my browser, 
we'll see some node information on there. So where would all this information come from? Let me introduce you to OHI. Let me make PowerShell a little bit larger and I will type in O-H-A-I. Now OHI is going to do a few things for us. So let me hit enter and it's going to just give us a ton of stuff back in JSON formatting or in uh, JSON syntax. Now what this is, is this lists all of the information about my node as in key value pairs for all of the different configuration settings it could be. And again, you have the key entry and you have its value. Like for example, I can say O-H-A-I hostname. Now what this will tell me is it will look and say, okay, for the key host name, what's its value? And we got CentOS, CentOS, depending on your dialect, 63. And we could say O-H-A-I memory. And this gives us all of our memory attributes by key and their value. Now we can also use OHI within Knife but I'll spare you that demonstration because it works just about exactly the same. So you can use OHI on your node, which we're doing here. We're running OHI on first node, or you can run it from Knife in your administrator's terminal or your administrator's workstation, the same thing. So let me make this a little smaller and get back to my desktop when I started this demonstration. And you could see that we changed our HTML page. We uploaded the recipe or the updated cookbook. And we ran Chef Client. And Chef Client looked to see if our node was indeed configured in the desired state, which it was not. It updated one resource. And we get our resulting HTML page. This concludes my demonstration. Thank you so much for watching.